Hey, good evening, everybody. So in this video, um, I'm going to be talking about disarming guilt by embracing unconditional trust in God. Um, so sometimes when when we're going through things that are hard, uh, we want to be able to be free from guilt um, that is happening in that circumstance. And in order to do that, we need to give things to God. Now, you've probably heard people say, well, why don't you just give it to God? It's like, okay, how do I do that? Well, I mean, I guess one of the first questions is, how, how do you know if you're giving God enough? Um, if you're willing to give to him, how do you know that you're giving enough? Um, well, there's a, a, a story in the Bible um, called The Feeding of the 5,000 where um, there's a bunch of hungry people out there and uh, um, Jesus, the disciples uh, let Jesus know that um, the people are hungry. And Jesus says, well, go, go out amongst them and find out what they got to eat. And they came back with uh, what, like two bread and a couple, uh, a couple fish, not a whole lot. And uh, Jesus said, okay, bring them to me. And so so they went out, they gathered him, or well, they already gathered him. They, they brought him to Jesus, and what Jesus did was he lifted it up to heaven, and he gave thanks to God. And then he handed it to the, to the disciples, and he said, now go and give it to the people. And they were just like, huh, okay, yeah, we're going to do that, and then what? And then what? And then what? Um, and what happened was all of the people ate. 5,000 uh, men plus women and children. He multiplied it. So when something passes through his hands, he has the power to multiply it. So in other words, if you feel like that you don't have enough, give him your bread and your fish. Reach your hands as high to heaven as you can, and I guarantee you he will reach down the rest of the way. So now, if you give it to him, how do you know he can handle it? Well, um, He's already been where you're going, and he has the power to see light at the end of uh, your tunnel that you're in. See, when, when you look into the light, you see light, and when you look into the darkness, you see darkness. When God looks into the light, he sees light, and when he looks into the darkness, he sees light. So he has the ability to see the light in the darkness that you're currently facing. And so um, you could ask God, you could say, well, God, uh, um, what is the light that you see in this darkness that I'm experiencing? And the interesting answer is that we, we don't need to know because we've already established that he can see the light in that darkness. So now we've come to the point of stepping into the realm of faith um and trust in him so when you want to give something uh to god think about it this way let's say that you have a gift that you want to give someone for their birthday for christmas or whatever um you go and buy the gift and then you lose it whose responsibility at that time is it to replace that gift I mean, if you want to give it to the person, you're going to either need to replace, you're either going to need to find it where you lost it, or you're going to need to repurchase it. But what happens when you give that gift to them and they lose it? Then whose responsibility is it? Is it yours? Nope. It is their responsibility. Why? Because it's theirs. You gave it to them. You did a transaction. See, when you accept Jesus into your heart as your Lord and Savior and you believe in him through faith, you're doing a transaction. You're moving from from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of heaven just by belief. It's that easy. It's a transaction. And so when you give something to God in this way, you're actually seriously giving it to him. You're making that transaction um, with him. And so God's willing to take all the problems off our hands if we're, if we're willing to give it to him. So... Um, so after you give it to him, if you see the circumstance get better, well, there's no guilt, obviously, because there's no need for guilt. Um, but if you see it get worse, 
you don't need to um, have any guilt on your shoulders. Why? Because you gave it to God. And so if it becomes his, you're, you're literally abandoning yourself to him. You're, you're surrendering everything to him, like completely surrendering it to him. So if something good happens or bad happens, it's on him. It is on him and he wants, he wants to take care of it for you and he wants you to trust him. And you know he loves you. You know he's a million chess moves ahead of you. Uh, he's already been where you're going. He sees light in your darkness. And if you raise your hands as high as you can to heaven, he will indeed reach down the rest of the way and he will take care of everything. All you got to do is give it to him. Oh, and by the way, he is willing to take everything. He doesn't have a reserve on how much you can give to him. And you can give it, you can, you can give it all uh, now, later, you know, just whenever. Um, anyway, so think about that. Think about surrendering to God by giving, giving things to him. Grace and peace.